Okay, so we've already identified this, but what is basis weight? The basis weight of paper is the weight of 500 sheets of paper in its basic size. And the basic size and the basis weight are used to describe paper. If I say it's 80 pound gloss text, you should immediately say, okay, well I know it's 80 pounds because 500 sheets of 25 by 38 80 pound gloss text will weigh 80 pounds. 80 pounds comes from the basis weight of 80 pound paper and 25 by 38 comes from the basic size of gloss text. Some people use basis weight to help identify the thickness of paper, but please do not get it confused. The thickness of paper is called the caliper. In most circumstances, knowing the basis weight of a stock can help users identify thicker or thinner stocks, but it does not always work this way. For example, 80 pound Hanawart gloss coated cover is going to be thinner than 100 pound Hanawart gloss coated cover. I know this because I'm comparing apples to apples. Both examples are talking about Hanawart gloss cover. So if I said something is 100 pounds and something is 80 pounds, one is larger than the other, so 80 pound would be a thicker stock, um, 100 pound would be a thicker stock than 80 pound. But if I was going to compare 100 pound Hanawart gloss coated cover to 100 pound Euroart gloss cover, I can't make any determinations because one's Hanawart and one's Euroart. Let's practice identifying basis weights. Basis weights are posted in many different locations in many different ways. Here are just a few places you might find basis weights on paper packaging. Try to identify which numbers on the packaging are the basis weights for that particular stock. The answers will be on the next slide. If you look at the example down here, I'll do the first one with you, there are lots of numbers. So in order to identify what the basis weight is, I'm going to look for something that says LBS, the pound sign, or maybe it will say basis on it. So if I look through all of these examples here, I can see that this says 24 pounds and under it, it says basis. So the basis weight of this stock would be 24 pounds. Now I'd like to, just for this example, try to take this one step forward. How much do you think this ream should weigh? By knowing that this is 8.5 by 11 inch stock, and the basis weight is 24 pounds. So, I know that four 8.5 by 11 sheets can fit out on 111 by 17. That means that this 500 sheet ream of paper is one fourth of the basic size of the paper, which is 17 by 22, because it's a writing based stock. If I can recognize that this is one-fourth of what the entire basic size is, I can say it's one-fourth of the basis weight, or six pounds. But don't worry about that if you didn't get it right. It was just um, an example to see if you could get it right. We'll work on that later in the slideshow. Okay, let's walk through the last couple ones of these. Try to identify the basis weight of this particular stock. The correct answer is 20 pound. It's 20 pound Fraser's paper torch glow writing stock. So that means that 500 sheets of 17 by 22 inch sheets of this paper weighs 20 pounds. This is also 1 fourth of 11 by 17. So I could say that every 500 sheets of this paper weighs 4 pounds. 5 pounds. Uh, number three. Please take a minute and identify the basis weight of this Nina cons conservation paper. Correct answer is 80 pounds. Number four, this is a sampling from an actual paper swatch book that you might get if you requested it for free from the Sappy Samples website. And the correct answer on this one is there are two basis weights present, 80 pound Opus Gloss text and 70 pound Opus Gloss text. Now I'd like to point out that it also says slash 89 GSM and slash 104 GSM. You can completely ignore those numbers. Those are metric measurements and it's the European way to measure paper. We use pounds, so 60 pound and 70 pound, and they use grams per square meter, but for our purposes you can completely ignore them.